In this video, we're going to see the simple inbound process in SAP WM. So the topics we're going to cover, they are inbound process in SAP warehouse management system. So inbound process. So let's see first what is an inbound process. Before we learn about the inbound process, I want you to uh, remember the interim storage type concept. So like we discussed in the previous video that any stock that we receive after MyGo or you can say as soon as you complete the MyGo transaction, it will be immediately arrived in the interim storage area. So in this case, uh, when, when you're doing the goods receipt, so the standard storage type is 902. So where the stock will be placed as a temporary uh, storage type from and from there it will be moved on to the final storage bin so keep this in, in mind and now we'll see the simple inbound process so in a standard system first what we do is we have a first we create a purchase order using me21 and transaction and then we do the goods receipt using mygo and then stock now the WM activities will be initiated. So first thing will, that will happen is stock will be arrived, arrived in the 902 storage type, which is the interim or temporary storage type. And from there, the, the physical process of moving the stock to the final bin will start. But from SAP transaction point of view, the next step will be, so just for our exercise, what we'll do, we'll check the existing stock first and then uh, you can use MMBE uh, in MM and LS26 in um, WM to check the stock. And next what we'll do is we'll create a transfer order. So a transfer order from we will create from the transfer requirements, which will be generated as a part of the previous step. So LB10 is a transaction to create the transfer order. And then the last step will be confirm the transfer order. So as soon as you confirm the trans transfer order using transaction LT12, the, the system will place the stock into the WM uh, storage bins or the org units area. And finally, just for our exercise, we will going to again confirm the uh, stock. So let's start this. So just for our exercise, um, I have already created one purchase order here and for a material called material 2 and from here we will start the next steps um, just for before we move ahead uh, we'll check the stock first from for this material so if i go to the transaction mmbe so in the separate window i'll open mmbe and i'll enter my material number my plant you can also enter storage location and if i execute this you can see at plant level we got 140 stock and same for the WM uh, storage type as well so but you can also see we got 40 on order stock so 40 is coming from the purchase order that I just created for this demo purpose so this is a 40 quantity purchase order that I created that I'm going to show you how to process it from WM perspective um, so here you can see the stock uh, from uh, inventory management transaction but if you want to see from the um, warehouse management transaction you can go to environment and you can go to WM stock here or you can also use the transaction LS26 so if I go to a WM stock here you can see we got the 140 stock in this um, storage area so it's type so 140 you can see the stock is matching in wm and also in im 140 140 that's good now we're going to process uh, this purchase order so next step i'll do is my go so if i do a my go here so i'll enter my purchase order number so here I'll say at the bottom item is okay and click on the where tab 
So where you want to put your storage location. So I already created GS02 uh, storage location. So you can notice like we have seen in the previous video, as soon as I enter a uh, press enter after entering the storage location, a WM tab will appear here. So just keep an eye here. So if I press enter, because this storage location is WM activated. So I can go to the WM tab now. So you can see 20 pieces total 40 pieces of the quantity will be received so all is good i can click on the check button just to make sure everything is okay if there's any error you can obviously google it you can see the customizing sometimes uh, some mm rated customizing that may cause error so everything is good i can now post it so before posting i want you to again keep an eye on the wm level stock so if i go here to the wm level stock here so just keep an eye on this stock. So you can see at the moment we got for storage, uh, for GS0, G, GS02 storage type, we got 140 stock here. And as soon as I post it in my go, the WM activities will start. So what's the next step? So next step is that the stock will be, will arrive at 902 interim storage type so let's check this one so if i go to the this screen for the um checking the stock if i refresh this you can see the change so now you can see the 40 stock has now arrived in where 902 uh, storage type sorry before it was not gs02 was storage location and 001 was storage type now it arrived in 902 and 40 stock arrived here now next step will be we what we're going to do is next step will be we will create the transfer order so after doing the previous step system will automatically create the transfer requirement all we need to do is to create the transfer order so you can use lb10 transaction So here you can either use the menu path to use LB10 transaction. So you need to go to logistics, sales and distribution, shipping and transportation and picking, create transfer order by replenishment, LB10 or you can directly type LB10. So here my warehouse number is GS1 and source storage type is you can enter the source storage type or, or, or you can just press enter. It will search for everything. So you can see here for my purchase already created there was a transfer requirement already created with number 22 so i can select this one and i have two options here i can either create the transfer order on the foreground in the foreground or in the background so if i click on the in the foreground just to see how it look like so it will open this screen for you again here you have two options you can click on this button put away in the background or put away in the foreground so if i click on put away in the foreground and now system is asking me enter the storage unit type so i can search for it and for now i will enter e1 height one meter so press enter so in the later videos we'll learn about what is storage unit type for now just enter um, e1 so you can see as soon as i entered the e1 system automatically populated the destination this is the storage bin so that's depending on the customizing what we have done is system will find it automatically so it's saying that from from is 902 from 902 001 and that's the storage bin from from this bin it will be sending it to a destination bin which is 001 and that's the your uh, bin number so now press enter and go back so here it will make this entry here so because we had 20 and 20 to 40 quantities so first it's putting 20 here and again you can do the same for the second one if you want or you can manually type here same thing so if i enter here e1 the thing is storage types storage section is 001 so here we need the next number so for example this is 09 
you need to enter here next one or whatever this is available so there's some other transaction where we can see the the empty bins that we'll check later on in the other videos so press enter all good so you, i can click on the foreground button again and you can see everything is good press enter again all is good so now i'm going to save it so as soon as you save it you just need to keep an eye again on this screen again where we can see the stock overview so this 40 stock screen will change so let me create and save the transfer order so if i save it done now if i refresh this screen for you just keep an eye here you can see the 40 stock now moved from this uh, storage type 902 it's showing that this is now showing as a pick quantity under pick quantity and the same is showing as a stock for put away for the destination storage type which is uh, 001 so where are we going to move it so from 902 it which is the interim storage type now it's going to be uh, held at 001 storage type which is a high rack storage so now 40 is you can see stock for put away now this will now finish the process that after you confirm the transfer order so for confirming the transfer order again you can i can go back you can use a menu path or alternatively you can use a transaction lt12 so that's a menu path so you can see under logistic execution inbound process goods received for inbound delivery put away confirm to single document lt12 so here it will remember the last to number so which is 22 so just press enter for now there's so many search option how to search for our to number if, if you can't remember that we'll see in, in the other videos so now it's putting 2020 in each bin now that's again depending on some setting why it's putting 2020 that we'll check in the other videos and here we just need to confirm it by saving this transaction and if there is a difference in the quantity for example for example if we received uh, not 40 stock but actually was received say 39 so we can say here 19 so 20 and 19 will be 39 and the destination difference quantity will be one here for example if that's the case so we'll talk more about it in the later videos again so let me make it just 20 for now just to keep it simple and if i save it done now we'll check the stock screen again so here just keep an eye on this screen if i refresh it you can notice that the stock will be added to the 001 storage type and the other storage type 902 will not appear anymore so if i refresh it now you can see 180 is here stock okay so even if i go back which is the, M the other transaction for MMBE. So if I refresh it, so you can see 180. So the, now you can see the stock is synced between IM or MM, IM or and WM. So again, 180 is here and 180 is here. So again, if I select this one and if I go to environment and WM stock, you can see we got 180 the total stock so that's the inbound process in wm so that's all about this video so just for the reco recap what we learned is the inbound process in the warehouse management system so thank you very much so we'll learn more about in the next video